All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Today's topic of discussion is how to decide to stay or go. Stay tuned, though. All right, welcome back. So I have six signs to see if you should stay or go. Now, is this the end all, be all, end that you should just take into consideration and say, hey, these are the six things that's going on, I'm out the door? No. However, these are very crucial signs to say, I need to start thinking if I need to stay or go. So let's jump right into them. The very first one is, how do they make you feel when you're around them? Do they make you feel cared for, loved, appreciated, pretty much welcoming you in with their open arms? Or do they make you feel stupid, dumb, crazy? Think about how they actually make you feel when you're around them. Number two, are you still excited to see them when they come home? Or are you pissed off that they didn't open up the door? <laughs> if you are in piss, pissivity state, yeah, I just made it up. If you are in pissivity state, when they turn the key to open up the door, it's probably time for you to go. Now that one, I mean, I am going to say. It's probably time for you to go. Or at least have a conversation to see if you can work things out. Number three, are you two living two separate lives? What do I mean by that? You both live in the same household. You both come and go. You both work. You're both putting in as far as the bills and everything goes. However, when it comes time to hang out together or interact like a couple does, you're, you guys aren't doing that. He's leaving, doing whatever he wants to do, not telling you anything, or she's leaving, doing whatever she wants to do, not telling you any information. And when I say tell you, it kind of comes off as I got to check in with somebody. It's not about that in a relationship. You are just being courteous to your partner when you are given that information. Also, if something occurs to you where you get into an accident or something, they know where they can find you or where you said that you were going to be. So it doesn't always have to be like I, I'm, I'm getting hand, hand-picked or I'm checking in or, you know, that's my mom. I got to check in like it's just the worst thing in the world. You're looking at it all wrong. I digress. Moving on. All right, so number four. Are you still happy to please them in pretty much any kind of way? Or is it now a chore? Is it now a chore? You feeling bogged down? Like, oh my God, I got to do this too. I got so much to do and now I got to do this too. Instead of, oh my gosh, I want him to feel so great. You know, I want him to feel wanted. I want him to feel appreciated. I want him to eat my food. And men could, men could say the exact same thing, right? If it's a chore, high chances you pretty much out of the door anyway. Number five, you are no longer anxious to share your day with your mate. Like they have no idea what's been going on in your life. You pretty much could give two hot craps about what's been going on in their life. You don't even share your day to day anymore. You don't even ask, let alone share. What am I saying? You don't even ask anymore. The very last thing is actually a task, but it could be a very simple task, especially depending on, it could be a very simple task depending on where you are, which is number six, make a pros and cons list of your partner. If the pros outweigh the cons, you stay and work it out. If the cons outweigh, if the, cons outweigh the pros, it's time to have more conversation or Pack your bags because you know it's been over or it's really getting to, to the point where you just like, I don't even want to do this no more. So don't waste your pretty or your sexy on somebody who do not deserve it. Don't waste time because that's the only thing we cannot get back in life. Don't waste your time. If it's time to go, it's time to go. And it's okay. Go. Deuces. <laughs>